Hey, buddy, how you doing? This is Albert, uh, Al the Pal 78. And the reason I'm doing this video for you is I want to show you what happened. So we got to get to the settings. If you press control and question mark, it'll get you into the settings. You want to open the extensions all the way down, right? And then you want to go to Live SAS Compiler. Now, I'm going to delete what I have here because it's really easy to replicate that. And as you can see, it was saving in its own CSS um, folder. So if I go to watching and then watch SAS, it's going to create it back in here. We do not want that. It's not what you wanted. You want it in the CSS folder. So how do you do that the right way for me and you? Because um, that my main man was doing it for everybody. Now, this Zoom Explorer, if I press Control and Plus, you see it goes bigger and then that changes numbers. And I'm going to leave it at 1. It's a good. We could, uh, no, I'm going to leave it at 2. Control plus. And that brings the zoom level back up to 2. Now, I have the, the, the comma here. The Kermit. The comma right here. <laughs> and right underneath it, I'm going to start typing the SAS um, in quotations. SAS. Uh, well, that's not how you spell it. Uh, and then you put li uh, um, live SAS. It's live. And you see how it says live SAS compiled dot settings dot formats. Click that. It's gonna give you everything you need. That's the only thing you need, all right? It's in a null. And to change the folder where you want it to be, it has to be in the save path. You have to have it between um, quotations. And you can name this anything you want, but I have a VS theme code, and it's the VS theme code right here, VS code icons. So when you look at over here, it's the JS, the JS, SAS, the SAS, and every item has like, the theme I, uh, that goes with the type of extension. So that's what it is. So we're watching right now. And we're going to, uh, let's see what happens. I don't know what happens with the slash. It's going to go right there again. With just a slash, it goes there. Now, you can name this whatever you want. You can name it um, Buddy Buddy. Uh, just Buddy because it's taking too long. And let's stop watching and watch. And you see Buddy, that folder, and that's in there. Um, I, you know what? I didn't save it when it was on just a slash. So probably that's the reason why. It didn't um, do anything special. Let's try it. No, nope, it still goes in there, but it puts it at the end of that. Um, oh, no. You see where it saved it at? Let's do it again. That's outside the folder, so we can just close that folder. So that's in the root. So that's how you know that, that you don't want that. That's the root folder. Hold on, buddy. Now you want to... Now this is saying... At, oh, hold on, hold on. At the root folder, um, you could make your own folder, but you want to you wanna put the slash, or else it's not going to work. And you see it had a, a curly line underneath it without this. That's showing you that you need that there. Uh, so control S that. Now you just created a CSS folder to that save path. You see what I'm saying? And you don't need the other two ways of he, uh, how he did it. All you need is this way of how he did it. And um, yeah, he was just showing you extra ways. And, and that got me confused too. So that's why I, I figured it out myself. And uh, it took me a minute. It took me about an hour and a half the first time. It took me like 10 minutes this time. But I just wanted to show you there is a difference versus um, anything else. See, that this VS Code, this is the icon theme, and it shows you right here. And this, it's called Cyberpunk 2077, but it's the, just the color theme is 2077. You saw that. So that's the color theme that I use. Like, if you look at my stuff, like, right right here. Oh, let's go back and watch and watch, and you see that, that the CSS is now made right here. I mean, I mean this color theme is beautiful. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And as you can see, everything, um, you know, it is what it is. And all the colors are just beautiful. But that's not important. What's important is you wanted to know how I did it. That's how I figured it out. Hopefully, this video helps you. Control shift. I like to stop the video.